Oh, here we are in Ladywood here in Birmingham. And I wanted to have a bit of a recap of Berger's concentric model that we looked at in our first video outside the Boring. So Berger's concentric model is based around the city of Chicago. And this idea that in your center of your city is your CBD, your central business district. This is where you'll have your main part of the financial services, maybe your parliament, your main shopping facilities, like we saw with the ball ring. Outside of the, of the CBD, you have your inner city, Ladywood. Ladywood would be an example of inner city Birmingham. Ladywood once had had terraced back-to-back housing for factory workers during the Industrial Revolution, during the Victorian times. Over time though, um, when we moved, started to move away from the industrialization due to globalization, finding cheaper resources overseas, able to have cheaper, more skilled workforce overseas in places like China, that meant that factories were not efficient anymore to run here in Birmingham. And there was a shift, a movement away from these areas. This led to a spiral of decline in places like Ladywood. Places like Ladywood had slums. These areas, they were not habitable for people to live in. They didn't have toilets inside. They were incredibly disgusting to live in and they were not great for local residents. So what they did from 1951 onwards was they did a massive slum clearance. Slum clearance meant they just came in and just wiped out, destroyed a lot of these terraced housings. And what they did was built houses like this, like we can see here. They also built CDAs, like you can see behind me, comprehensive development areas, building high-rise flats. Obviously, it's cheaper to build upwards rather than spreading over a wider area, which meant they had more uh, housing, residential housing for local people, helping out in the 1950s on to 1970s when the projects were done. So we can see here it's a very different environment to what we saw in the central business district. And as you move further out of an urban area such as Birmingham, you move to your suburbs. We can see here there is green space, probably not as much green space as you might expect, but there is a lot more green space than you would expect um, since they have knocked down a lot of these slums. Also, people move here. Okay, let's talk about migration. People move to different parts of Birmingham. Like I said in my previous video, Birmingham is a global city. People come to Birmingham. And lots of people come to Birmingham and they choose to live in places like Aston or Ladywood like this. The main reasons for this is it is cheaper, um, cheaper rent and cheaper to buy. So you get lots of different communities moving to places like this. Lots of people from Pakistan, Bangladesh, India will choose to move to places like Ladywood. But that can create inequality. Inequality because of deindustrialization. Suddenly there is mass unemployment. People can't, people don't have jobs. People cannot afford to live their usual lives. There's conflict. People aren't as welcoming. Uh, over certain nationalities coming to certain areas. This can create conflict and can create major, major issues. Are there the services in an area, an area that has experienced a cycle of decline uh, where there's constant uh, degradation of an area, services, shops move away, people don't have employment, suddenly there's a real risk and that creates inequalities. Are there schools in an area? All these factors create massive amounts of inequality in a place such as Ladywood and different parts of inner city Birmingham. So we can see here, once again, it's been raining all day here in Birmingham, but we can see here how different the inner city is compared to the central business district like we saw earlier on. We're going to move on to the suburbs of Birmingham and see how there are changes there and the reasons why there has been massive growth for outside around the green belt of a city such as Birmingham. But once again, some great geography in action.